Hello, children. Welcome to our science lesson today. We are going to talk about something very exciting and very important. Our topic is living things and non-living things. Are you ready? Good. Let's begin. First, let us ask ourselves a question. What is a living thing? Living things are things that have life. This means they can do many special things that non-living things cannot do. For example, living things can breathe, they can eat food, they can grow bigger, they can move from one place to another, they can reproduce by having babies or producing seeds, and finally, they can die. All of these make them different from non-living things. So what are some examples of living things? You and I are living things. Your parents, your friends, your teachers, all human beings are living things. Animals like goats, chickens, birds, cows, cats, dogs, fish, and lions are also living things. Don't forget, plants are living things too. They may not move around like animals, but they grow, they breathe in their own way, and they make food using sunlight. Now let's look at non-living things. Non-living things do not have life in them. This means they cannot eat, they cannot breathe, they cannot grow, they cannot reproduce, and they cannot die. Non-living things are all around us. Examples are your chair, your desk, your school bag, your books, the cars on the road, stones, sand, and water. They may be very useful, but they do not have life. Now, children, let's take a closer look at the characteristics of living things. In science, we sometimes use the word Mrs. Gren to remember them. Let's go through them one by one. Living things can move. Humans walk, animals run or fly, and even plants move slowly towards sunlight. Living things can respire, which means they breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Living things are sensitive. This means they can feel things around them. For example, you pull your hand away when something is hot. A plant turns towards the light. Living things can grow. A baby grows into a child, then into an adult. A seed grows into a plant, and later a big tree. Living things can reproduce. This means they can make young ones. Humans give birth to babies, chickens lay eggs, and plants produce seeds. Living things can get energy from food. Humans eat food. Animals eat plants or other animals, and plants make food through photosynthesis. Living things can excrete, which means they remove waste from their bodies. Humans urinate and sweat, and plants drop old leaves. All these characteristics show us clearly that living things are very different from non-living things. Now let us talk about why living and non-living things are important. Living things like plants give us oxygen to breathe and food to eat. Animals and humans help to keep balance in nature. Animals also provide us with food like meat, eggs, and milk. Living things such as humans create ideas, build houses, write books, and invent technology. Living things make our world beautiful and lively. Importance of non-living things Non-living things like water, air, and soil are needed for living things to survive. Houses, chairs, and tables give us shelter and comfort. Cars, bicycles, and buses help us move from one place to another. Books, pens, and computers help us to learn and communicate. Roads, electricity, and machines make life easier for everyone. Finally, let's give a short summary. Living things are things that have life. 
They can move, breathe, grow, reproduce, and respond to their environment. Non-living things do not have life. They cannot move by themselves. They cannot eat, they cannot grow, and they cannot reproduce. Ulf living and non-living things are very important in our lives. Living things give us food, oxygen, and balance in nature, while non-living things provide us with tools, shelter, and comfort. Together, they make the world complete and beautiful. Now, children, before we end, look around you. Can you point out one living thing near you? Can you also point out one non-living thing? Very good! That is how we learn to observe the world around us. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. Living things and non-living things are different, but they are both important. Thank you for listening.